Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. Today we got uh, Phoebe Bridgers back in the news again. Uh, if you remember a month or two back, she was the one that had the huge controversial thing about smashing the guitar on Saturday Night Live. Uh, you had a lot of people commenting, Oh, she could have just donated it, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you know, this has been done a million times before. She doesn't have to do it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my general thought is on it is it needs to happen once in a while. Somebody needs to smash a guitar once in a while. Definitely make sure you're doing it on a cheaper model, which she was doing it on a cheaper model. I believe it was a two to $300 guitar, uh, so nothing majorly expensive. And, um, you know, Dan Electro encouraged it. The company that created the guitar encouraged it. It was definitely, it was, it was a staged event. 100%. She knew she was going to do it, but she wanted to do it, so she did it. So that guitar is now going to be auctioned off, and I believe it is to kind of a charity or an organization. Uh, the name of the organization is GLAAD, G-L-A-A-D, and that stands for Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation. Um, I'll just read you quickly what that they are about. Um, I'm, I'm basing this off the Wikipedia page so you know where I'm getting this knowledge from. It says, GLAD is an American non-governmental media monitoring organization founded as a protest against defamatory coverage of LGBT people. Its agenda has since extended to the entertainment industry and is a portrayal of these groups, these movements known by its initials only as its full name, Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, could be taken as excluding bisexual and transgender issues. Uh, so do with that information as you will. Um, you can go check out their website as well if you would like. Uh, if you do want to bid on the broken guitar, uh, currently it is up to $17,000. That is right. That is, that is what I'm looking at the website right now. Uh, I'll link to the website as well. Uh, we're sitting at $17,000 for a broken, cheap Dan Electro guitar, and uh, that is what it is. If you want to bid on it, you know, it's definitely an interesting part of alternative history. Uh, you could also consider it rock history as well at this point in time. She's kind of in that kind of rock alternative category, you know, whatever you would like to call uh, her genre. Probably more alternative than anything. But definitely an interesting part of music history. Uh, we'll leave that as that because just the, the controversialness of her smashing the guitar on stage, there, there was just a lot of back and forth, a lot of hate, a lot of praise. And uh, it just, it was, it was going both ways. A lot of people were like super angry about it. And, and I get it. You know, she wanted to do what a lot of rock stars has, have done in the past, smash a guitar on stage, beat it up look extreme and whether it was good press or bad press her name is in the news uh her name is now known a lot more than it was before because before the incident i honestly did not really know who she was so before i posted the original video i looked her up checked out some of her music and she's pretty decent you know i mean it's not something i want to be listening to every single day but uh, if i hear her song across the radio like i usually listen to when i'm driving to work or something along those lines i'm not changing the channel just sit back enjoy the ride go from there so as her name is back in the news yet again is is what it's coming down to i think uh they're trying to ride that hype train out as long as they can and i don't blame her you know that's you want to keep your name relevant you want to keep your music relevant uh you want to be in the news uh, and show off everything i'll throw up a couple of pictures throughout this video as well uh so you can see her face you can see her smashing the guitar and you can see the smash guitar if you'd like to buy it Honestly, based on the pictures, I think it's still playable. Um, the bridge is still intact, pickups are still intact, strings are still intact. You're just missing a very large chunk out of the left side of the guitar, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. Uh, I mean, if you want to attempt to fix it, go for it. It doesn't look like they're giving you the chunks. Uh, it looks like they are just giving you the guitar as a whole without the big chunk that is missing, but it would definitely be interesting to see if whoever bought it fixed it up, made it playable again, uh, or if some other celebrity or musician uh, picked up the guitar and played it on stage. I could see that happening too. I believe, uh, I know one of Jimi Hendrix guitars is still floating around, the one he lit on fire. Uh, I believe, I can't remember who owns it at this point in time. It's changed hands several times uh, throughout the course of the last like 50 years or so. Uh, but I know it's it's still in circulation. Uh, it's still being played, still being loved. And I'd like to see that happen with this guitar as well. I think uh, there's a couple of Kurt Cobain guitars as well. He smashed so many guitars, Kurt Cobain did. Uh, and, and I'm sure there's a couple of those floating around being used as well. 
Uh, but it all comes down to, do you support this organization? If you want to bid on it, do you support her? Because uh, I'm guessing she reached out to this organization to do it. Uh, or something along those lines. I don't have the full details. Uh, we don't know the full story. All we know is that it's being auctioned off by this organization, and if you don't want to support that organization, don't want to bid on it, that is definitely up to you. It's a little rich for my blood. I'm not dishing 17 grand for a broken guitar. If I had $17,000, I'd probably buy a couple of high-end Gibson Les Pauls and then have the uh, the ten thousand dollars <laughs> left over uh, or something along those lines or maybe a Les Paul and a Strat I could use a really really nice uh, made in USA Stratocaster I'd be nice to have one of those too I had a Mexican at one point uh, didn't particularly care for it and now I have the Parker Fly which I've been trying to sell forever as well but I think we'll just leave it at that I don't want to make this video you know ten minutes long and make it super stale and drag it out for another four minutes. So let me know your thoughts about Phoebe Bridgers in the comments down below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and I think just have a great day. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.